you be laughing today or just to tighten the bow? A little laughing eye. This is no slow motion, right? This is just the magnification. Mm, yeah. Let's do our stop bows first. Now it's good. Just uh, just for practice. Let's see if we can keep the fingers down after they play. Just so we have a good a good code. still in third position so you're going to want the heel to lightly touch the side because the G is in third position comfortably. Good. Good. With a good proof. Clap. Take that down. And take 
down to the down here then it makes it rather stiff here so if we can just do off 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 and we're going to come down down just so we feel how the weight works So we're always moving around, distributing the weight. Now, can you do it without taking the fingers off? And just feel the same. That's good. Does that give you a little more flexibility? You never want to ever be stuck in the same place because the fingers are always moving. We might not see them move, but you know, it's like you, you're always growing, but you don't really see yourself grow. So we want to just feel and then back. Can you do that once more? And to the front and back. That's perfect. Okay, and how about rhythms? Good. Can you 
That was good. Can you can you keep the bow a little? Can we just do this? Can you move the string with that, but not tight. Just the, Okay, you got it. So, now, this is what I want to do. I want to go back to C major. Uh, and we've probably done almost all your scales already. Uh, because we're going to add, start adding double stops to this. Let's see. There we go. Oh, looks like we never did C major. How did we miss it? Okay. So let's do C major and we'll start uh, on our second finger with our usual two, one, two, top note two times, and then two, one, three, two with a tag at the end. So all, and we use the top fingerings. So all the usual ways we'll do is three per bow. All of this is so easy for you now. And then let's start the thirds here. So we're going to first play 
them with separate bows like this. We'll play. And this fingering is good also that you'll play four and then we shift. Good. Open four. Good. And then shift three. he gets you back to two. These are, in the flesh book, the double steps are like a roller coaster. You go up and you go down and you go up higher, come down, up until finally you get to the end here. Okay? Okay, so that's how you do your scale. And I think, did I hear anything else? Did I hear your shot yet? No, last time. And we're doing the last one here, right? Okay. So why don't we go with, let's start with eight per bow and then we'll do half a measure per bow. Good, that was good. Okay, so we'll do half a measure right away. But we, we wanna keep, see how I'm gonna keep? That sound, I'm really going to pull to the tip here. And good, good. And I think if we could just, can we just find this sound with the bow? Good, and really richer, sinking richer. Good. Now we want to keep, uh, even as you cross your strings, you want to pull that sound. Uh, uh, pull. Can we do the whole measure for bow? So we want, can go a little faster. Da -da -da -da. Good, so that was good. So it's just like in the Sicilian and Rigadon, right? So you have to, can we do? Good, so you still have to be on the C Rhythmically. That's right. Good. Okay. And now, see if you can even... If you can really feel that you're pulling even more of a sound. 
When we have the one measure, it's going to be better to take the repeat. So let's do this again and we'll take the repeat. And repeat. Good, good. Don't rush though so you get to stay in the world. playing the viola and you have a C string. Oh, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. I'll print it out and I'll show you how to practice it. Okay, so that you have something, because I won't see you for a, a bunch of time. Okay, so this is fun, right, isn't it? Okay, so we'll leave it here if you need it. And let's hear your A again.
two, three. Really nice. I, I think you can be more expressive on the D. See how I really want it to grow? So I'm going to save the bow and I'm going to vibrate more at the end. to the dominant chord here. And if I'm in F major, the dominant is C, the fifth, right? Fifth degree. Good. So can we just do... Right. 
arriving at the E. And yeah, good. That was good. Do you see how that works? But now I really need to save the bow for this E. You know that. So every note here is going to go to here and the resolution. Yeah, pa 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 pa. Yeah, da di. last time is going F minor, right? So F minor is, I always think of it as more passionate, maybe ferocious, like instead of being a nice, calm, golden retriever, maybe it's a snarly dog. So, uh, Yeah. 
Yadi, yadi. Good. I think that was good. Now, now you're making a picture. Okay, so this is the same. So we'll go F minor here. And two and good. So we never want to be without enough bow. So we'll really save the ball. And two and two three. symphonies. Uh, I don't know. Have you been listening to a symphony? Have you listened to number six yet? Symphony? Yeah. That is called the pastoral symphony and that you have birds in it and all kinds of weather things. It's, it's spring. Pastoral means spring like. So it's an F major. So it's not a surprise that it's F major because it's, for the most part, just a very beautiful, pleasant key. So, so then F minor, on the other hand, is the opposite. And then here we have C major, which we know is the dominant of our F major coming up. And C major, how would you describe C major? Um, I think of it like, it's kind of happy. Mm -hmm. It is very happy. Yeah. Because it's C major, no sharps or flats, you know, nothing to get in the way. And you can listen to the Beethoven First Symphony, which is in C major. And this is in F major. And just see if that gives you some feel for it. Uh, so, here we go. Very nice. 
nicely done. And just one added thing. Can we vibrate the last four notes of tells you clean your room, clean your room, clean your room. It gets a little bit what? Annoying. Annoying and a little boring, right? So same thing here. So if we just play the same. This is rather boring. So can you do something here? Ah, got one more. Good. That was better. So now it's not annoying anymore. So now here we can use left bow and then more bow. Just use more bow as you make your crescendo. Yeah, pa 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 pa. And more bow. Pa, da, one. And. 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 Play it with you. Okay. 
and you you have a piano part there, don't you? Mm -hmm. I was looking for my old piano part. Yeah, that might stay open a little better. Okay. Okay. So now, what's interesting? Come here because it you have this. Beethoven gives the orchestra quarter note. Now, the second time you have that, uh, we split uh, right here. You, he gives you the orchestra in close. Right? So it's a different feeling. And then the next time you have that, well, of course, in F minor, you have makes it very exciting there. And the last time you have the third time, you know, very innocently, so just so you're aware, and I'll remind you. Okay, here we go.
Okay, you got it. Really good. Okay, so if you could get with Justin, mm -hmm. that would be really helpful. I uh, hear that next time you should just plan to play it in class then. Okay, no. so that's not this Saturday, but a week from. Well, you know, if you get with Justin this week to rehearse, then you can play it in class next Saturday. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Okay, and then in the meantime, uh, let's see. Um, you have the little Beethoven Rondino that I sent you. And let's see. Uh, uh, I could give you P and A if you're practicing a lot. Are you practicing? And you're practicing a lot better now. So, because that piece takes a lot of practice. Uh, it just takes time to get all the various notes. So, why don't we do that? We'll do PA and then we'll do scene de ballet and then we'll start the Cavalgeski concerto. Okay? Does that sound exciting? Okay. So, let me uh, see if I can just print out a PA. And we'll stop.